Would you like to know how to find out the history of a Highline area? We're gonna show you here at Elephant Rock in Yosemite. We're super excited to release this new area that has lots of opportunity for everyone on this episode of How Not to Highline. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to Yosemite. The rostrum is closed for the entire spring for peregrine falcon season. Taft Point is closed because the road is Glacier Point Road. And the Lost Arrow Spire in the last few years has also been closed due to the birds. So there's not a lot of options for us in Yosemite between March and July. But we discovered Elephant Rock has so much great potential here. Now I wasn't able to find out the history of the line because anybody that might know it isn't responding. So the best way to find out the history of any area that's been highlined on is just to say that I've established all this. So read the most aggressive and violent comments below to find out who actually established this, because it's most likely them. But on a serious note, uh, there were bolts here. They were pretty shitty, 3 8 power bolts and rusty. So this line may have been established before. This is 50 meters seems super classic. This is five minutes from the road. There's no tourists here. So the idea is to get us Highliners away from the touristy areas the best way we can in order to preserve our access. Because if we're always in the way, they don't like that for some reason. Even though the tourists can always be in our way. Anyways, we have a 50 meter here, a 30 meter we're gonna like, um, natural rig kind of just mock rig up because it's good it works and then we have a 275 meter that we're going to set up and maybe rope swing okay so we're on the static side of the 275 ish meter high line uh we were going to go up there but this is going to be a little bit more level this is still about three meters off level but at 275 meters that doesn't matter now i'm sure you could wrap stuff and try to make this all natural but at the same time, we want this to be um, rigged kind of more often than the other places. So we want it to be a little bit more convenient. And that's how we're deciding whether or not to bolt things is whether or not it's gonna be used a lot. Because it is technically safer to have bolts than to expect everyone to rig all natural because that does require a, another level of experience. So we're going to time-lapse hand drilling because real speed would be awful for you. See? Uh, so what we have here is the rock peck. Now I'm not gonna shit on this. I'm just not gonna say anything good about it. My hand is bigger than that. I feel like they skimped on this part. That could have been bigger. Now in order to fit the SDS bit, this part slides out and it has the balls just like a drill, the inside uh, keeper balls. So many jokes. The problem is, it moves when you hammer and then it pinches your skin. And the other thing I don't like about it is this is Bobby's. Why? Because mine broke. What the hell? This part broke. Whatever. So the one we like more, we believe, is called the Pika. It has Allen wrenches that hold in the SDS bit, but it has a much bigger handle and it has a larger striking surface versus that guy, probably 30% more, and a bigger area protecting my hand. So we're gonna go between the two of these just to get a feel while we hand drill this. And we're gonna experiment between the Yosemite hammer, which is probably a 16 ounce hammer, and a <coughs> three pound hammer to see if the effort to lift it up each time is worth the speed in which it gives us. Let's just start drilling. Serious yeah. consequences if I miss? Yeah, like that little plastic thing ain't gonna do you a whole lot of good. <laughs> We're putting in the fixed glue-ins, and in this case, the threaded rod stems. Um, I like them because, mostly because I had a lot of them. Boltproducts.com has a lot of great bolts too. We were tempted to use some of them, 
but a lot of the high lines here in Yosemite already have this kind of bolt. It has a great bend radius for our ropes when we thread our high lining ropes inside of this bolt. I also like the fact that these were really good in our bolt buster tests. They were always breaking above MBS. We have not tested them pulling sideways yet, trying to twist them. But if we did try to high line something in a different angle, the stem is in the middle and not on one side like a P-shaped bolt, which could create more leverage if you were to pull uh, sideways instead of in line. So just, we had them, we decided to use these and they're half inch fixed glue and bolts. Talking isn't getting this done. I'm gonna hammer. Super good enough. But now I gotta put the notch in. What happens when your canister runs out of air? You want it to be notched just enough so the weld is buried, but you want to leave a lot up there to have stuff to clip to. So we'll finish this up. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we spent all day yesterday drilling holes. We were pretty tired, so that's all we basically did. Today we spent all day rigging. <laughs> so I'm about four meters away from the anchor we were just at, and we had some options on all natural rigging. There's some trees over here, you could wrap a rock, maybe cams, but we want this to be simple for everyone to use because this is easy to tag and hopefully a nice starter line for people that are visiting the park and new to highlining. Uh, this kind of area was kind of manky. It had um, holes randomly. There were no bolts over here, but evidence that people have bolted things. So Bobby took some Liquid Rock 500, which is about this color, and put it in here in the holes and put some dust on it. And basically there, I think here, 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 and here, but like you can't see it if you're, if you're not looking. Um, it really cleaned this area up and we minimized how many bolts we put in. The equilateral triangle, we have equalization as a myth series on our channel, explains why we put this bolt pattern in. You can also see it on the bolting Bible, which is also now in Portuguese. And uh, you can learn basically everything there is to know about bolts on the internet, on the bolting Bible at houndhuntahighline.com. So as we're trying to figure out what's the best thing in this area, we are trying to go to some rocks over there to maybe get like a 90 meter, maybe a hundred, because that's kind of fun to be able to do, especially if we can just walk the tagline easily around. However, as you go back into the zigzags, you're getting into no fall zones 20, 30 meters out, and there's super low quality lines. And I don't think things need to just be rigged just to be rigged. Uh, I think we can just enjoy this one, enjoy the big one, and possibly just the 30 meter. So there's a lot of things we thought about. We spent a long time before drilling because drilling's a pain in the ass, and these are gonna be here possibly our whole life. So we wanted to be very careful when we made our decisions when we established these high lines. Read the comments below if you want to hear who really established this high line. I'm sure they've left a comment by now. Okay, so now I'm tied in and I can take the community anchor off, which is nice for anybody who wants to step over here. What's nice about this spot is, as you can see, I can stand here. We basically reused all the holes that were here. There were there was a fourth hole which we filled and I have no idea where it is now, but none of these had hangers and they had 20 year old, 20 year bolts that were 10 years old. So they're already rusty and they should be replaced anyways. So this is a nice long-term anchor. It's nice to tie your BFK right over the edge. This is padded and um, it's convenient to be here. So this is a great classic Yosemite line uh, without having to hike too much, which is pretty rare around here. All right, always get a buddy check, pocket check, hat check. Mm -hmm. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe to us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube because I post different stuff on each of those platforms all the time. If you do come to Yosemite, come check this spot out. We're gonna have the topos on hownottohighline.com, including the other areas here in Yosemite in detail. We have videos showing every anchor and what you need in order to rig. That's kind of what this video is about. So 
Welcome to the elephant and see you later. I'm gonna go highlining. Two full mans, on-site no-falls, sick! <laughs>